Tony Hannity's here from LazyTechGuys.com. Today, we're going to take a look at two apps. One, Meerkat for Android, and two, Periscope for Android. Which app is better? You decide. Stay tuned. So on the left, we have Meerkat. On the right, Periscope. And for those who don't know, Periscope is actually owned by Twitter as of the beginning of this year. Meerkat was first as beta, and Periscope just came out on Android just a few weeks ago as of the recording of this video. Now on the main screen, it's pretty similar on both apps. You have your live feeds that are happening right now. And the nice thing with Periscope is that you actually have not only live feeds, but also recorded feeds. That's one thing that makes these two apps very similar. Meerkat is ephemeral, at least it's supposed to be. Whatever is recorded is only live, meaning it's a, there's actually no real recording. But with Periscope, you do have the ability to record directly to your photo gallery or directly to the Periscope servers. In that event, people can see your um, Periscope videos that you've recorded in the past. The other thing too is that Meerkat is more of a gamified kind of experience. I don't know if you can see here, but Lazy Tech Eyes, the channel that I use, has a score of 430 points. That seems really cool and all, but some of the top earners, or leaders if you will, um, have over 600,000 points. There's Madonna, Jeff Needles, Mashable, and a bunch more. So. It's pretty clear I have a lot of work to do when it comes to Meerkat. Now on Periscope, there's no gamification per se. It's just a different kind of experience when it comes to the community. It's a different experience because there's no points. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. It really depends on the user. Now when we're talking about users, I want to point out that the Twitter Firestream I believe it's known as, has been cut off, or Firehose actually, has been cut off to Meerkat. Meaning, if you want to follow somebody with Meerkat, you have to know their actual Twitter handle. You can't just search for them. But because Periscope is Twitter, they do allow you to search for whoever you want. So if I just type in the name Dan, here are all the Dans on Meerkat. Also, if you just want to look at your Twitter friends, these are all my Twitter friends that have joined Meerkat. So I can just right away click on the ones that I want to follow. Or if I want to stop following them, just click on them again. And when it comes to your actual profile on Periscope, you have the ability not only to see who you're following, but also who's following you, who you have, blo who you have blocked, then also very, very important, your settings. This is regarding your notification settings. This is something that you do not have in Meerkat, which can be very annoying. So case in point, I've actually turned off all the notifications for the people that I follow, because a lot of people that I follow Periscope quite a bit. And I'll get a notification every hour, twice an hour. So I just don't want to deal with that anymore. On Periscope, rather, on, on Meerkat, however, I can go and see who I'm following, which is only the Funky Fairy, and I can see who's following me, which is only 29 people, respectively. Now, so the people out there in Meerkat land, I love y'all. The thing about Meerkat is the reason why I only follow one person is because there's no way to turn off the notifications. Unless I go into the whole lollipop setting of turning that off, I don't want to deal with that though. I would just like the app to give me, the user, the ability to turn off and off notifications. If someone wants to tell me how to do that within the app, please do so. Otherwise, I just follow one. That's all I really want to deal with on Meerkat. Now when it comes to the actual streams, the nice thing about Meerkat, however, is that they do something which allows you to schedule a Meerkat. So let's just type in the word live, for example, and I can schedule my live stream and I can pick a time, let's just say 6, 10 p.m. or 10, 10.03 p.m., sure. Say, say okay. 
we can add a photo. So let's go ahead and take a photo. We'll keep that. And then we just click on schedule. And so three hours, four hours from now, people are going to see something along the lines of this. Upcoming, my name, my Twitter handle, how many hours, the name of it. And if people see that within their uh, actual feed, they can either subscribe to it so they get um, reminded about it, or they can be kind and retweet it to their friends and followers. Periscope doesn't have that ability. Periscope, you can't really preset a date or time on when you're going to periscope. You can maybe do a reminder to your Twitter followers, but on here, they do something that is also fairly unique, and the ability is making it a private periscope. So within private, you can specify that you want to do a broadcast with these specific people. So of course, I only want to do broadcast with MC Hammer. And then I can click on make private. You can type in the name of the broadcast. And then if I wanted to, I can put in my location. I won't, and I'm also not going to start broadcast. It's kind of like a private chat room, but at the same time, they're only seeing your live feed, and all you see, and we'll see in a second, is a live chat. So going to public, the other nice thing too is it does allow you to tweet that you're going live. It does allow you to turn off and on your chat room. And then again here, it also allows you to uh, display your, your location. So what we're going to do, we are going to start live broadcast on both Periscope and Meerkat. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. And my Twitter followers should get notifications about Meerkat and Periscope. Um, to switch the camera, you just click on the swap around button on Meerkat, but on Periscope, you can double tap. And if you notice here, I'm actually already getting people following on Periscope. We've got three, four, hey guys, what's going on? We've got a heart, which lets me know that they're enjoying or being amused by the, uh, by the Periscope. Uh, but slowly but surely they're starting to go away. But you will notice here on Meerkat, I'm still at zero. I'm f not very well known on Meerkat, but there, there is a small community that do actually follow me and they do know when I go on at certain times. And I can get maybe about 10 to 15 people watching simultaneously. The most I've ever had on Periscope was about 40. And I am obviously nobody special. But it was just interesting to see how quickly I was able to obtain people to follow me on Periscope that don't even follow me on Twitter, whereas on Meerkat, it actually takes about a half an hour to start getting those people to come in and stay in. Now the thing is, when it comes to the chat window with Meerkat, there'll be a chat window here which allows you to not only um, say what you want to type in, but it also allows you to tweet out your comment. That can be kind of annoying to those per that person's Twitter followers if they don't know what the conversation is exactly. Periscope doesn't do that. To some degree, that's a little bit of a better experience. When Periscope has um, any kind of chat uh, going on, uh, you'll see it in the bottom left hand, bottom left hand corner, similar to Meerkat. Um, but for stats, you can actually click on the amount of people that are following you, like one or two, and these would be all the people. These would be stats regarding the people that are actually live and what they're saying, things like that. In Meerkat, let's just go back and end this. If we go to a live stream in Meerkat. you'll get all the bubbles up at the top. To some degree, that's kind of nice. You see exactly who's following you right at a glance, and if you know their avatars by heart, say, hey, Jeff, Jim, Tony, Belinda, whatever. And it's really engaging for the users. On here, you can do that as well too, but only when you click on the chat window. And it's just one extra step. Not a big deal, just an extra step. The last thing too is, You'll notice earlier, if you rewind, all you do is you end the stream and that's it on Meerkat. On Periscope, it actually gives you a little bit of stats. So 100% were retained, 
Um, the average time that were, was watched was 57 seconds. Full duration of the video was over two minutes and 18 total views and the ability to save it to my gallery. Now, I'm personally not going to do that, but on my Periscope account, it's on my Periscope account. So, if we exit out, here are some of the live feeds that I've personally done um, on Periscope. But on Meerkat, the only way that I can do that is to use a third-party application called Catch, with a K. And although I'm sure they're very nice people, I don't know who they are in affiliation, or if any, to Meerkat and how they're getting those streams without the expressed authorization from Meerkat. So you might be a little weary about using that sort of feature. So at the end of the day, which one is better? That's actually a tough question to answer, which app is better, Meerkat or Periscope, because it's not just about the application, it's about the community within both applications. But let's talk about the apps. Meerkat was first. Meerkat was on iOS first and was on Android first as well too. And that's important. That's really important, especially when it comes to this day and age of technology. However, Periscope is much more fluid of an application. It has the material design, which is very key for Android apps applications these days. It doesn't crash as much as my Meerkat app crashes. And the quality of the video on both seems to be better even with the camera on the Nexus 6 being what it is. Also the fact that you can save videos and streams that you've done on Periscope can be handy depending on who it is and you know what you might need to save them for. And the, the ability to actually search for people in Periscope. You can't really search for people in Meerkat because you don't have that fire hose like you do with Periscope. But going back to what I said, community is key. Why would you want to be somewhere where there's not a lot of people? There's a lot of people on Meerkat. Now to date, we don't have definitive numbers between both Meerkat and Periscope. Back in April, they were just around the same amount when it came to the launch of Periscope, which is north of 20,000 users. Now that might seem like a lot, but it really isn't compared to how many users are on Twitter and how many users are on Facebook. Since then, I'm sure it has grown exponentially for both platforms, but I have definitely seen a lot more quality interaction in Meerkat versus the interaction that I've seen on Periscope. Now, obviously it's gonna differ on who you follow and who follows you and what kind of community within these applications you relate to. But for me, personally, I prefer Periscope. I'm sorry to say that. I know it sounded like I was going to be veering more toward Meerkat, but the fact is the application and its fluidity, how it's written, and it doesn't crash on me as much as the Meerkat app does, that's kind of key. I'm going to Periscope. So let me know. Tell us in the comments below if you are more of a Meerkat person, Periscope person, or if you just don't care about this live streaming stuff. Make sure you tell us below, give us a thumbs up for this video, and make sure you subscribe to Lazy Tech TV. Thanks a lot for following us today, guys, and we will talk to you in the next. Peace.